Hello everyone and welcome back. This week I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chocolate cake. This is a tuxedo chocolate cake, which is a bit more complicated than a chocolate cake, which I really wanted to learn how to make because my husband loves it and his birthday is coming up. And so I did a practice run to see if I could tackle this very complex cake with many layers. And once you've done something, you know, it just becomes much easier to do it again a second time. Once you've been through all the steps, you know how the process goes, you know all the things that you will need, mistakes not to make. And so let me share with you how to make this tuxedo cake so then you can also see that it is not that difficult and I can maybe give you some tips of things to look out for. So to make this tuxedo cake, we're gonna do it in four layers, and they're gonna be laid right on top of each other and stored in the fridge so that they can solidify and harden into a beautiful tuxedo cake. So the four layers of this tuxedo cake is a chocolate cake, a brownie, chocolate mousse and white mousse, and then it's not really a layer, but you'll finish it off with a nice chocolate ganache sauce. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I bake each layer individually and then also combine the cake in the end to make all the layers. Now before we get into all the steps, I want to tell you that I'm going to put a master list of all the ingredients you will need for all of these layers down below because the recipe I list here will list them individually for what you need per layer, but if you need a grocery list to see all the things you will need right at once and how much of everything, I'll also put a master list so that you can just print that off if you need to go shopping or see what items you need and if you have enough of everything. So starting with the chocolate cake, you want to combine all of your dry ingredients into a small bowl. Put that aside and cream together your butter and your sugar until it's well combined. Now while my fingers are buttery, I'm gonna butter my cake pans. And then you're gonna whisk in the eggs and vanilla extract until it's nice and fluffy. Then whisk in the oil and the sour cream until incorporated. Then fold in half of the dry ingredients to your butter mixture with the buttermilk and the coffee. Then you wanna add in the last dry ingredients, folding in just until it's combined. Add the cake mix to your baking pans and bake them for about 30 to 35 minutes until you can stick a toothpick into the middle of the cake and no cake comes back with the toothpick, then you know it's good to go. Now with all these cake layers, you can rack up a load of dishes. So instead, I'm just gonna keep rinsing my bowls as I use them. Cool it in the tin for a few minutes first, and then only remove it from the cake tin so that it can cool and dry on your counter. Next, we're gonna make the brownie. 
Mix together the dry ingredients for the brownie. And then on a boiler on your stove top, you want to melt together the butter and the chocolate. melting slowly, whisk together the eggs, sugar, and vanilla extract until it's fluffy. Once the chocolate is melted, add it to your egg mixture and whisk it until it's thick. Slowly fold in the dry ingredients to your egg chocolate mixture. Prepare a loaf pan with some parchment paper or oil just so it doesn't stick and you can pour in your batter into the loaf pan. And then bake it for about 40 to 50 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Now once the brownie is done, you can remove it from the oven, let it cool in the pan first, and then once it's cooled enough, you can remove it from the pan and let it cool on your countertop. Now for the chocolate mousse. Melt the chocolate and the butter on a double boiler on your stove. Now while that's melting slowly, separate your egg whites and your egg yolks, and then you want to use your egg whites and mix them together with the salt and the cream of tartare with your mixer until they can stand up and, you know, when it makes nice peaks then you know it's stiff enough. Now in a separate bowl, you wanna whisk your cream until that reaches little mountain peaks. Now in a different double boiler, you want to whisk your eggs, sugar, and vanilla extract until it's thick and pale. Then you mix in the chocolate that you melted earlier, fold in the eggs mixture, and then the cream mixture until it's just combined. Now for the construction of this cake, I'm using a cake dish, which is about the size of my cake tins. And I'm first gonna cover the base of this cake dish with some glad wrap. This is such an important step because if you don't do this very well, you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting the cake out afterwards. So take some time, do it well, make sure all the corners are covered. You wanna start with the base of your cake. So I'm gonna cut my chocolate cake in half. I found that just the whole chocolate layer is just a little too much. I'm gonna slice mine in half. Start with my chocolate layer at the bottom, and then I'm gonna pour this chocolate mousse that I just made over top of my chocolate cake. Now once you've poured the chocolate mousse over your chocolate cake, you can dice your brownie and sprinkle the, the brownie over the chocolate mousse. So you've got your chocolate cake, and then you've got your chocolate mousse poured over your chocolate cake, and you've sprinkled your brownies so it's sitting nice in the chocolate mousse. And you're gonna put all of that into the fridge to chill for an hour and let it nicely set. Next, we're gonna be making the white chocolate mousse. So you wanna whisk your cream until it is nice and stiff, giving you those little mountain peaks. And then in a separate bowl, you wanna whisk your cream cheese until it's light and fluffy.
Now again, on the double boiler on your stove, you want to melt together the butter and the white chocolate. It may separate and look kind of funny, that's okay, white chocolate does this. Once the white chocolate has melted on the stove, you can whisk that into your cream cheese until it's well combined. And then you're going to fold in your whipped cream into that mix until it's just incorporated. Remove your cake from the fridge and pour over this chocolate mousse layer on top of your brownies. Return everything back to the fridge and let it cool overnight. Now for the final layer of this cake, a beautiful chocolate ganache. Remove the cake from the fridge and slowly gather all the glad wrap pieces together and remove it from this mold. Now, as you can see here, I totally forgot to add that final cake layer. And actually, I had baked two cakes because I was thinking of doing multiple layers and changed my mind later, but I should have at least put that final cake layer on top here. It worked out all right for us. It still tastes delicious, but I think this cake would be perfect if you could just add that final cake layer, so don't forget, like me, before you put the ganache on, put the final cake layer and then the ganache over top of that. And now we're gonna be preparing the chocolate ganache that you're gonna pour over the cake, which is just gonna finish it off really nicely. Back to your double boiler on the stove, you're gonna melt the chocolate and the cream together. Once the chocolate and the cream has melted, you can pour your ganache layer over the top of your cake and put it back in the fridge to chill for at least two to three more hours. I know by this time, who wants to wait any longer? But return it back so that that canage layer can cool and harden really nicely on top of your cake. Now what's wonderful about this tuxedo cake is that it will taste better the longer it stays in the fridge. This cake ages well, I mean not forever, but the longer you keep it in there, the better it will taste. And I can tell you that that is totally true. Over time, it did taste so much better later on in the week when we ate the cake. Now the construction of this cake is quite complex. I've not figured out all of the tools or utensils and maybe there are people out there who can make some recommendations for some kind of cake clip that is big enough and high enough to make all these layers hold together well. If you have watched to the end of this, let me tell you that you can make this cake. I thought that it would be near impossible and way too complex. All of this may seem a little bit complex and print that recipe, write it out, understand the steps and you'll see that it is really not that difficult once you make it and breeze through each layer, you'll come to realize that you're just making four different layers of ingredients and combining them all and forming a cake. It really is simple and it tastes delicious. If you can get some wholesome ingredients, real whipping cream and a delicious make of cocoa powder for that chocolate cake, I'm telling you that you can have a delicious tasting cake. We usually buy ours from Costco and there's nothing wrong with Costco. They do a really good job at the tuxedo cake and we've bought it for years. But it is nice knowing that this is a nice homemade cake with wholesome ingredients. Everything is real and true and tastes delicious. So that's a perk of making some of your food at home is that you know what's going into it and you know that it is good ingredients. Although, how good can a cake be? Oh, 
little bit of sweet never hurt nobody. <laughs> well, I hope that this has been helpful to you, and if you make this cake, please let me know how it all turned out in the comments below. And if you like content like this, please stick around. We would love to have you subscribe and check out some of our future content or past content if you're interested. Uh, I make a lot of videos about homemaking, camping, gardening, baking, cooking, all kinds of things like that. So if you're interested in that, oh, and tea making, which has been a favorite lately. So if you're interested in all of those things or any of those, please stick around and uh, check back for future videos. All right, have a good day and have a good party if you're making this cake for someone else. <laughs> Cheers, bye.